No. 
O chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. This morning's Mass is being offered for the intentions of Stephen Beale, whose 50th birthday it is today. And we pray for all his family, but especially for John Quinn. We heard the sad news uh, this morning that Anne Higgins, Magella's mother, uh, sadly died uh, yesterday. So we hold the whole family in our prayers. I know they've all, uh, Magella's already lost her brother. Um, so we really pray to the Lord for some comfort at this dreadful time. And we pray that Anne is now at peace. We also remember in our prayers Christiana, Arabella, Angel, Dostasio, Campbell little baby whose 12th anniversary it is today and we pray for all their family, for Gary, for Maria, for uh, all their loved ones. And also we remember Joseph's mother in Canada who is unwell at this time. Our parish care intention today following on from VE day, day yesterday is for peace in the world. So we bring all our prayers now before the Lord as we begin this Mass and we ask forgiveness for our own failures. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned 
in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in the celebration of Easter graciously give to the world the healing of heavenly remedies, show benevolence to your church, that our present observance may benefit us for eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The next Sabbath, almost the whole town of Antioch assembled to hear the word of God. When they saw the crowds, the Jews, prompted by jealousy, used blasphemies and contradicted everything Paul said. Then, Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly. We have to proclaim the word of God to you first, but since you have rejected it, since you do not think yourselves worthy of eternal life, we must turn to the pagans. For this is what the Lord commanded us to do when he said, I have made you a light for the nations, so that my salvation may reach the ends of the earth. It made the pagans very happy to hear this, and they thanked the Lord for his message. All who were destined for eternal life became believers. Thus the word of the Lord spread through the whole countryside. But the Jews worked upon some of the devout women of the upper classes and the leading men of the city and persuaded them to turn against Paul and Barnabas and expel them from their territory. So they shook the dust from their feet in defiance and went off to Iconium. But the disciples were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, the response is, all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Response, all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. Response, all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. Response, all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, ring out your joy. Response, all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Please stand to greet the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia. Christ, having been raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no power over him anymore. Alleluia.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you know me, you know my Father too. From this moment you know him and have seen him. Philip said, Lord, let us see the Father, and then we shall be satisfied. Have I been with you all this time, Philip? said Jesus to him, and you still do not know me. To have seen me is to have seen the Father. So how can you say, let us see the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words I say to you, I do not speak as from myself. It is the Father, living in me, who is doing this work. You must believe me when I say that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Believe it on the evidence of this work, if for no other reason. I tell you most solemnly, whoever believes in me will perform the same works as I do myself. He will perform even greater works, because I am going to the Father. Whatever you ask for in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask for anything in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to Lord you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every hand, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they are played. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them by the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. And profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Vincent our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord will be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
It's only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my soul, so that I may unite myself wholly to you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Father, I wish that where I am, those you gave me may also be with me that they may see the glory that you gave me, Alleluia. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturdays. Hope you all had a wonderful uh, bank holiday yesterday. Uh, a bit bizarre having it on a Friday, but some wonderful things to watch on TV as the nation came together to commemorate this great anniversary. And we didn't get to see the red arrows. We heard them, but we didn't see them. But I do believe that some of my family over in Staines and going over towards Feltham did manage to see it. So uh, I hope some of you did too. So don't forget, tomorrow is Sunday, so as usual, our Mass is at 10.30 in the morning, and then we have a holy half hour at four. Before that, though, we'll have our virtual teas and coffees, and Bill, as always, will share that link with you on the Facebook feed and on the WhatsApp group tomorrow morning. So if you can access this, you can access the teas and coffees. You don't have to stay for long if you don't have time. Just click on the link, Come and say hi, 
and you can disappear off. You don't have to sit there for half an hour or 40 minutes, but come and say hi just so we can all see each other again. That would be lovely. Don't forget that the prayer intention for today is peace in the world, following on from the anniversary yesterday. So that's at 12 o'clock especially. Let's pray for that intention. And it's a good moment to add as well. We, our mass bookings are booked up for about the next three weeks. I think we're booking now into the week of the 2nd of June. So if you would like to book a mass or you've got a particular anniversary in mind or a particular date you would like, do let us know and we can try and get those written in for you. So, because mass is still happening even though you're not yet joining us. And obviously if you did book a mass before the lockdown, um, some of the dates may have been slightly altered, especially if you booked a mass at the weekend, since we only have one mass each day. So thanks for your patience if your mass intention has been moved to a, a slightly later date, um, and do keep an eye on the newsletter. So we, we have honoured all those masses that were booked. We've just slotted them into different places because we haven't got quite as many masses. Um, now, one of the saddest things I think we need to say today is, um, well, firstly, I want to say hi to Gary and his family who are tuning in every day. I don't know you yet, Gary, <laughs> but I know you know Father Nicholas very well. They're, well. they're parishioners from so, my last parish. Um, and, um, and we pray for your intention today, and I look forward to meeting you and the family at a later date. Um, but our condolences have got to go out to Magella and her family today. And we, Magella, we've got no words for you. We really don't. I've got no idea what it feels like right now for your family. But just know we are holding you all in prayer. To have lost your mum and your brother within, within the month, um, in the middle of a lockdown, mm. um, abroad, um, your pain must be huge. And, uh, but know that your whole church family are holding you in prayer. And if we could be with you, we'd be with you. But one, one of the worst things about our ministry is we can't wave a magic wand and fix everything. But all we can do is to say that we're thinking of you, we're praying for you, and we'll offer Mass for all your loved ones. So uh, we're sending you love, Magella, okay? And I know Brian will do absolutely everything to get you back over there again. Now, don't forget Mass is a little bit later tomorrow. And that just leaves us to say it's lovely weather. So do go out and enjoy yourself in the back garden or on the balcony. Stay home still to keep safe. And it just leaves us to say... It's a goodbye from me. And it's a goodbye from him. <laughs> God bye bless you. Bye bye.